Robot Vietnam, or at least that's what people were calling it on Twitter, and given that I've been dying to play a different kind of Vietnam War slash jungle warfare theme game, I had to check this out for myself, and since my last video I only covered the basics, and, of course, the sentient bugs known as the Terminids. I figured now's as good a time as any to check out the other enemy faction, the Automatons. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think the mission lied to me. This is definitely not daytime. And no, this is not just another excuse to play Helldivers again, since you really don't need one when the game is just this good. Okay, that's a lot of explosions. How are there people still alive in there? Okay, we got artillery strike on the way. Get some! Well, that was a lot more powerful than I was expecting. Get him! Air strike! Oh, it landed right on top of the building. That'll work. Okay, I think I have to blow up that thing. Hopefully this works. Yay! <laughs> I'm starting to feel less like, you know, the troops on the ground are necessary, and it's more just the air support doing everything. Or basically it's every Vietnam War movie reimagined. You see nothing. You see nothing. Oh boy. He sees me, doesn't he? I mean, I don't want to think I'm stealth, but I am under a spotlight right now. There we go. Gotta say though, me likey the auto cannon. The auto cannon's really nice. It's like a recoilless rifle, but smaller and you can reload it yourself. So, nothing like the recoilless rifle. Every planet in Helldivers has a different climate with all kinds of environments and environmental effects, but boy oh boy this jungle is really something else. We're gonna run through the jungle, that's for sure. You can't even begin to imagine just how thick this jungle truly is. Okay, can I hit the thing from up here? Nope. Okay, that would be a no. Oh, there's one chasing me. I don't like when they chase me. Wow, that completely missed. <laughs> oh wait, I can still do this, I think. Why is it not exploding? I'm shooting the vent thingy. It's okay, we have one more of these. Okay, it worked that time. Okay, what just hit me? Run away, something just hit me. Okay, so apparently I have to call something down here, but before I do that, I get some of these. And since they've given us some mines, I'm gonna use those. I don't know where, oh, the thing's gonna come down over here. Uh-oh. Well, that's a problem. Uh, that's a big, that, those are the big bots. Uh-oh. Stop dodging my shots. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Well, I was trying to drop onto his head, but it clearly didn't work out. That turns out I didn't need it. We got to start the probe you later. Uh-oh. Oh, I got two for one! No, I didn't. Never mind. I just thought I did. They don't like that I'm doing any of these things. I think. I'm just sort of vaguely firing into the mist hoping I hit something. Which seems to be working so far. Like I said, so far. Playing Helldivers as a stealth game is truly something else, and unlike the first game, you can actually stay hidden pretty well. I can hear the robots when they're so far away. Just don't run around like an idiot and you can actually avoid combat like 90% of the time. The remaining 10% of the time is just when you try doing it in heavy armor. Like, I'm currently sneaking up in the heaviest armor possible. Just, you know, as always, it's always fun. Hang on, let me switch to my pistol for this one. I don't think anyone heard that, did they? That massively loud revolver? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm actually trying to do this as a stealth mission, and so far, it's okay. Except that I completely didn't even see this guy right here. Let's see, can I take him out quickly? Ah, kind of, is the answer. I like the way this reloads, it's like a space M1 Garand. Or a space Unfield. Actually, yeah, it would be closer to a Lee Unfield, wouldn't it? Oh, that's a problem. Uh. Okay, we'll, we'll try the incendiary mines. They might work. It's attacking the dispenser, but not the mines. That's really interesting. Oh, he exploded. Or maybe my shell exploded. Probably one of the two. 
I think I'm definitely gonna blame the equipment on that one. I, I think the gun was faulty, possibly a misfire, you know, I, I just think it, it's, it, it's poor equipment is what it is. Are you sure about that? What on earth is that? I cannot tell what that is. That looks like some sort of walker. Either way, I shot it, it went down. How'd you like to taste of freedom? I think he likes it very much. <laughs> all right, well, he's walking into the mines, but I don't think it's really doing all that much to a robot. I mean, do, does incendiary weapons really do much to uh, metal? I don't think so. Explosives, on the other hand, they tend to be quite effective. See, that worked. Oh, I see a problem. Oh, the no. mines have little red lights, and the robots have little red lights. All of this means I have no idea what's coming my way. <laughs> Let's quick check. We still need to leave. That's a grenade. This throw it. Bad. Run! Well, I tried to throw it back, and all I succeeded in doing was throwing it slightly more to the right. I am telling you, there is no actual precedent for somebody throwing back a grenade in modern combat. So the fact that it still exists in movies and video games is actually kind of funny. And before anybody says like, hey, I heard this story of somebody in World War II who did it. Yes, in World War II and World War I, it did actually happen because grenades had surprisingly long fuses back then. It's not the case anymore. But if a grenade has a three and a half second fuse, you are not picking that up in time to throw it back. Oh, there's a patrol. Gotta get out here silently. I'm still regretting taking this really bulky heavy armor. Look at this stuff. I mean, it looks cool though, which is sort of like half the battle, right? Okay, not that I think it'll help. But there's the mines. Okay, I'll throw that out there. I mean, maybe the initial explosion will do some damage to them, you know? I mean, it seems to have worked. I just don't think the fire really does anything to them. Quick, get him. Don't let him come any closer. Hold the line! Oh, reload. Quick, 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 quick. Is he just going to wait there for me? I mean, it's awfully nice of him. Ah! Oh, I threw it back! Uh-oh. Ah! I'm gonna miss the shuttle. Uh, there are mines in my way, aren't there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna lose all the samples. That's fine. We don't need samples. We live on to fight another day, kind of. But... Clearly, to enjoy Helldivers to its true potential, you're gonna have to play with other people. I know, it's a scary concept. And with public lobbies especially, you never know what you're gonna get. Alright, let's get some. Oh, that's a tank! Tank, 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 tank! Get an airstrike! Okay, let's all relax now. I kind of blew myself up there. Uh-oh! What is that? Freedom never rests! Oh, it's a cannon tower. Okay, well that's not working. Okay, I got an idea. Uh-oh. We got a dead teammate over here. Hey, that one's dead. What are we bringing in? Ooh, another auto cannon. Woo! Where'd you come from? Uh, what is shooting at it? What is shooting at the sentry? What it? What is that? It, oh god, is that a tank? Everything's on cooldown. I don't even know what's over. That looks like a tank. I, I'm not sure we can do much to it. If I'm brutally honest. Hello there. Uh oh. No! Incoming. There we go. How did that not kill it? Okay, let's try this. Nope. It worked once. Why is it not working again? I don't understand. Why does this not work again? There we go. <laughs> uh, well, we got one. We, we got to get out of here. I think it's time to leave. That laser through the... Like, the smoke or mist looks so cool. <laughs> Look at that volcano eruption. I've only just noticed that. That huge eruption right there. 
All right, let's go. Get to the shot hole. Go, 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 go. Unless you, of course, have at least one friend that's willing to put up with your stupid antics. Uh, he's right there. Let's go. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's a lot of explosions. More super <laughs> Get some. Come on, get some. Oh, so as it turns out, some of the warnings on the instruction manuals are not optional in the slightest. Oh, I'm being hit badly. Let me, let me out, let me out, let me out. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I feel like this might have been a mistake. Actually, you know what? That worked out quite well. Whoa. Uh, that's slightly scary. I didn't realize it would do that. Oh, reload, quick. Come on, reload, 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 reload. Uh-oh. There we go, I got that one. Why does everything have to be so clutch? All right, who's still out here? All right, I need to turn my flashlight off because I think that's attracting the enemies. Because now I can do this and they're not gonna shoot at me, right? Right? See? Yeah, they're not shooting at me now. I'm gonna throw this over here. Uh-oh! Can I? There we go. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I could shoot it that close. But you know what? It worked out for the best. Oh, we got more of them coming this way. I might think I'm just camping on this rock here, and it's because I am. But if, if you're this outnumbered, would you not want the high ground? If it worked for Obi-Wan, it will work for me. I've just realized I have a friend who's running around in there. And I didn't even realize. I should probably help him. There we go. Oh, that's a... Where'd he go? I feel like that rocket was aimed at me. Uh, I want to point out I had nothing to do with that. All right, let's go and blow all this up. All right, let's get that in. All right, we got one of the dropships down. Freedom! I think you got him. Oh, that's where the others are. Okay, let's go that way. That seems like a good idea. Also, aren't there samples and stuff over here? Like, do you not want them? There's a rare sample right here. Ah, what in the hell was that? Oh, these are mines. I'm standing in on incendiary mines. I I see. So what is that thing? And is it gonna see me here? Because I think I'm just gonna hang out right here. Okay, let's go. All right, airstrikes are back. We got the eagle back on station. That didn't work. There we go. It's an arc thrower. You know what I really do wish? since this is robot Vietnam, that we had like the ability to once permission declare uh, a broken arrow and then be able to call in airstrikes more frequently for like 20 seconds or something like that. I didn't realize the arc throw had such a long range. Wait, why do I hear? Oh, hello. What's up here? Oh, we got some ammo. Requesting sentry. Whoa! What was that? I have no idea what happened just now. There we go. That's the time we got out of here, huh? Actually, there's one more thing I gotta do. <laughs> because of course I do. Freedom! Whoa! That's a huge cannon. Okay, so what do we do about this? How do we deal with this? I don't know how we do this. Or is there another way we can deal with this? Oh. My grenade landed in front of me. Oh! Well, that's not good. I want to see if I can land on him with my hell pod. Oh, I just missed him. Don't. Really? Wow, the flames kill you so fast. Uh, that's bad. I don't know 
whether you would call that task failed successfully or task, task successful but failed. I, I don't know which way you would put that one. At the end of the day, I guess what I'm saying is play Helldivers 2. Yeah, it's pretty rare I recommend a game this highly, because whether it's solo, with friends, or even public lobbies, Helldivers 2 is a hell of a lot of fun. Sure, it's had its fair share of teething troubles when it first launched, but it's well worth it. And if you agree, disagree, or at least enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, and of course, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.